Hi, in this quick video I will explain what a theoretical or conceptual framework is and why having frameworks are important in research. Having a strong framework is essential for your research study. It is the foundation from which your research is constructed. The framework presents the theories or concepts that will be used in the research project. A clear framework also highlights the underlying assumptions of a project, helping other researchers to critically evaluate the study. This means that the framework shows how your understanding of knowledge and reality has influenced your approach to your research and design. If you didn't have a strong framework, your study would lack structure and vision. Frameworks can be either theoretical or conceptual. These two types of frameworks often cause confusion for researchers. However, the difference between these is actually relatively simple. A theoretical framework is a framework that uses a pre-established theory while a conceptual framework is a framework that uses concepts from multiple theories to create a framework for the present study. To illustrate what I mean, here are some examples. If a study uses a pre-established theory, this is termed a theoretical framework. So, if you decided to use, say, Bourdieu's theory of practice, or Vygotsky's cultural historical theory, you would be using a theoretical framework. In this case, you apply the theory as it is described in the literature in your study. If a study uses concepts from multiple theories to create a new framework, this is a conceptual framework. So, if you decided to combine, say, elements of Foucault's theories of power and discourse with elements of intercultural learning, you would be creating your own conceptual framework. Remember that you can either use a theoretical or a conceptual framework, but you can't use both in your study. Framework sections of a research report or thesis usually include a discussion of the paradigm within which the research fits, thereby highlighting the researcher's understanding of knowledge and reality. This is your ontology and your epistemology. You can find more information about these terms in another video in this channel. This discussion is then followed by an extended discussion of the theories and concepts used in the study, as well as how these theories or concepts inform the research methodology and help the researcher to understand the data. There is no one correct framework. You should choose the framework that is most appropriate for your study. Start by exploring your own beliefs. What is the lens through which you see the world? Then consider the theories or concepts in the literature about your topic, which intersect with your own paradigm. In your framework section of your report, explain how your framework theories or concepts help you to address your particular research question, shape your research design, and inform your data analysis. Finally, it is important to note that while most studies required a specified framework at the early stages of a project, there are some studies that are conducted in order to develop a framework as a conclusion. This is often termed a grounded theory study. In summary, a clear structured framework is the foundation of high quality research studies. Take the time to explore the frameworks relevant to your paradigm and topic and choose the one that will help you conduct a study which has a clear purpose and ultimately contributes to the knowledge in your field. Good luck. Created using Powtoon.